okay the topic is the transmission media the unguided media well, what is first we start with the transmission media in data communication the transmission media is the path between the transmitter and the receiver that is the channel through which the data is sent from one place to the another transmission media is broadly classified into the two categories the guided and the unguided in previous slides we discussed the topic of guided media now we are discussing the unguided media or you can say the wireless let's start with unguided media it is also referred to as the wireless or the unbounded transmission media no physical medium is required for the transmission of electromagnetic signals. Now, what is uh, happened in the case of unguided media? First, the no wire is there. The signals, they can travel through the air and the data that is traveled from source to destination that can be traveled in the form of electromagnetic signals. The no wire is there, so they are unbounded. The no bound is there. They can choose any of the path that is required for sender to the receiver. This is called the unguided medium. The best example is your cell phones or Wi-Fi. Whenever you are receiving the signals of Wi-Fi, the this is also wireless media or unguided media. The no wire is connected with your laptop or no wire is connected with your cell phones. Directly, you can receive the signals in the form of electromagnetic signals. Here, now we have the features of unguided media the signal is broadcasted through air as we know the no wire is there so the signals they can be broadcasted from one place to the another place to the air second the less secure why the less secure because the no wire is there the signals are open to travel from sender to the receiver that's why the signals are less secure they are available for any of the companies used for larger distance we are using it for large distance where we cannot use the number of wires then we use the wireless medium also. clear so now there are the three types of signals transmitted through the unguided media now we have the three different types to which we can send the signals with the help of unguided media let's start discussing one by one the first is the radio waves these are easy to generate and can penetrate through buildings penetrate means they can easily travel through the buildings they can cross the buildings very easily the sending and the receiving antennas need to be aligned aligned means they have to be into the same direction the senders and the receivers we can also say the transmitter is a sender and a receiver they both are in the line of propagation over there. The, the frequency range of the radio waves are 3 kilohertz to the 1 gigahertz. You have to remember that particular range. The range of the radio waves are from 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz. And FM radios and cordless phones use radio waves for transmissions. So the example of radio waves are, you can write the FM radios. You have the radio inbuilt in your cell phones. Whenever you click on the radio, the radio stations can be executed like 92.7. What it means, 92.7 is the frequency. Your, your cell phone can receive the signals on the frequency of 92.7 through the electromagnetic signals. And and the cordless phones where the no cord is there cord mean the wire the no wire is there they can receive the signals through the air in the form of electromagnetic signals now look at the diagram here we have the antennas at the both side at the center side it is called the transmitter who transmit the signals and at the receiver side we also have the antenna over there then they can receive these signals through the air and the best example that is shown in this slide is radio uh, frequencies or the fm radios first we have the tape recorders where we have the antennas or in the number of cars you can see the antenna that is placed at the upper of the car the, and that antenna is used to capture the signals that is sent by the that particular frequency and now in your cell phone they have the inbuilt antennas over there 
so we they required the antennas at the both side to send and receive the signals so this is all about the radio waves now the second is microwaves uh, it is a line of sight transmission that is the sending and the receiving antennas need to be properly aligned with each other the distance covered by the signal is directly proportional to the height of the antenna that's why you are looking the number of antennas or the uh, num number of <clears throat> these type of towers or the antennas that are placed in your cities and they are placed at the top of the home because they required a maximum height for that antennas to transfer the signals so and the uh, distance covered by uh, the signals is directly depends upon the height of the antennas the frequency range of the microwave is from 1 gigahertz to the 300 gigahertz and these are majorly used for the mobile phone communication and television distribution so the uh, microwaves they are used in mobile phone communications you are using the mobile phones you are uh, this is the basic example that number of times you see the sometimes you have the less signals in your cell phones whenever you are out uh, when you are far away from the antennas like in the mountain area you also feel that the signals are very less because there are the less numbers of antennas or the towers over there but whenever you are in the city the signal strength is very high because in the cities they have the number of uh, antennas over there or you can see the number of <coughs> antennas are more as compared to the mountain areas so look at the diagram these are the antennas or the towers that you simply see in your cities the towers over there which can send the signals to the another tower and tower to tower signals can be traveled and these signals can also be received by the users like us who are using the cell phones so this is all about the microwave now the last one is and the third type is the infrared uh, the infrared waves are used for very short distance communication. They cannot penetrate through the obstacles. What it means, if some obstacle is in between that, they cannot be penetrated. Uh, uh, this prevents interference between the systems. The frequency range is 300 gigahertz to the 400 terahertz. From 300 gigahertz to the 400 terahertz. It is used in the TV remotes, wireless mouse, keyboard, printer, etc. Now, infrared. You can use the TV remotes. They have the infrared. Suppose uh, I, it is possible that uh, the TV is established or uh, the TV is placed in the particular room and you are using the remote from the other room. The obstacle is there. The walls are there. It is not working. We are coming in front of the TV, then pressing the buttons then they can uh, easily evaluate or they can easily execute it. So this is a drawback of infrared that no obstacle should be there. And the basic or the common examples are the TV remote or you are using the wireless mouse with your laptops. The wireless keyboards are there. The wireless printers are there. They all are using the infrared. So this is the example of infrared. And this is all about the transmission media of the type of unguided, unguided or unbounded.